Okay, a quick video for the DH client config file in Kali Linux where we used to change the DNS with the prepend command and it seems to have stopped working, so we're going to try to come up with a workaround. And until they fix it, uh, it may be the only thing you can do for the moment if you want to use open DNS. So in the past, you go to the terminal, and I'll make that bigger. Change directories to Etsy DHCP. And there's your files. And you would edit the DH client conf file. <clears throat> so you would do nano DH client dot conf and you'd have all this stuff here and you'd go down to the first line where it says prepend remove that number sign and then you would change the domain servers to open dns so 208.67.1 .222 comma space 208.67.220.220 comma space 8.8.8.8 and then you'd save that so control o to save enter control x to exit And I made a mistake already because control X uh, error writing permission denied my fault control X, which is good to see because a lot of people do this clear the screen. I need to be in a root terminal to change system settings. So sudo su and then the password for your username and clear the screen and now we'll do nano dh dot conf go back down here got a little bit of a stuffy nose going this morning sorry about that let's try it again 208.67.222 dot two 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 comma space two oh eight dot six seven dot two two zero dot two two zero comma eight dot eight dot eight dot eight control o to save now it saves it control x okay so we have the open dns in there and then what you would do is service network manager restart now it disconnects for a second because it's getting an IP again you're not really disconnected so don't panic now it used to when you did cat slash etc slash resolv dot c dot c o n f you would see the new name servers but you can see the 208.67.222 is not here. The 216.144, you know, these are, these are my ISPs. So it didn't change to open DNS and it used to. So they broke it. When they're going to fix it, I don't know. They don't send me memos. Um, and I don't, I've tried some other uh, alleged workarounds, but none of them seem to work. So we're going to try to go into the network settings GUI and change it there. So you want to click the little icon on the top left, settings, advanced network settings, wired connection, double click it. You want to go to your IPv4 settings right here. Automatic DHCP, we're going to leave that alone. Well, actually, Okay, this is different than the known version. So we're going to try DHCP addresses only. And we're going to add the servers here. 
208.67.222.222, comma, 208.67.220.220, comma, 8.8.8.8. And we're going to click Save. Oop, I forgot something here. And we're going to require IPv4 settings for this. Save. Close. Okay. Clear the screen. And you can see we still have my ISP's addresses. And so we're going to move service. Network. Restart. It's going to tell me I'm disconnected because it's changing it real quick. Go away. And then we're going to go resolve.conf. And here you got the open DNS servers. And we'll just test our connectivity. Ping google.com. And we have connectivity. So that's your workaround for this problem. Hope that helps.